Today we're going to be talking about the two-tone Rolex Submariner, reference number 16613. We're going to briefly talk about the history, we're going to talk about some of the features of the watch, and we're also going to talk about the different variations. Rolex introduced the first Submariners in 1953, and it was one of the first dive watches ever. However, the two-tone versions weren't introduced until 1984. The reference that we're talking about today was introduced in 1988 and produced until 2009. This version has the aluminum bezel, and in 2009, the 116613 was released, and it has a ceramic bezel, super case, and some other upgrades. The 16613 is a two-tone dive watch with a 40 millimeter stainless steel case. It has a two-tone gold and stainless steel bracelet, 18 karat gold crown, and 18 karat gold bezel. Now, these have an aluminum bezel insert, and the two main color variants are the black with the black aluminum bezel insert and black dial, or the blue with the blue aluminum bezel insert and the blue dial. These are all time and date watches, so it has the hour, minute, seconds hand, and also the date function with the cyclops. Aside from the color, there are other dial variants between these watches. One of them has to do with the loom. It can either have the super luminova or it can have the tritium, just depending on the watch and the year. Probably the biggest difference in variation you'll see in the dial is with what we call the Surdy sub. You can see here on the right, we have the champagne Surdy dial. And what the Surdy dials are, it's the champagne dial, but it has diamond sets on the markers and also sapphires on the 12, six, and nine o'clock markers. The Surdy dial comes in two variants. We have the champagne version you see here that has the champagne colored dial, diamond and sapphire hour markers. It also comes in a slate colored dial with diamond and sapphire hour markers. The 16613, endured a few changes over its lifespan. It started out with hollow end links on the bracelet, as you can see here on the model on my left. It evolved into the solid end link version, which ended the reference, as you can see here on my right. The clasp of this watch was also changed and upgraded during its lifespan. It started, when it started out, it had the stainless steel clasp that you see here on my left, and eventually it was upgraded to the clasp that has the gold throughout that continues through the bracelet. The case also changed from the beginning to the end of this reference number. You see the holes case on the left was in the beginning and they were eventually upgraded to the no holes case you see here on the right. All Rolex 16613s come with a caliber 3135 movement. And this movement has a 48 hour power reserve, also has a date complication. Today we had a look at several different versions of the Rolex 16613. This is a great two tone sport watch that comes in tons of different variations. There's the slightly understated black and gold, the more classic blue and gold, or even the more elegant gem set Surdy dials. Well, that wraps it up for the Rolex 16613. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe for future watch reviews, comparisons, and how-to guides.